Hi, this is Evan from WCC of Tech, and ready your PCs, especially the power supplies, because NVIDIA's next generation RTX 40, or Ada Lovelace GPUs, are rumored to consume almost a kilowatt of power. There have been multiple reports that NVIDIA's next generation GeForce RTX 40 GPUs based on the Ada Lovelace graphics architecture are going to be insanely fast and insanely power hungry. Now the latest rumors are coming from Kompite Sevikimi and Greymon55 seem to point out that the flagship GPU, the AD102, could consume over 800 watts of power. According to the latest information, Greymon55 mentions that the GeForce RTX 40 GPUs could be available as early as September 2022, but the launch isn't the most interesting part that is mentioned in the rumor. But the alleged power figures. Both leakers state that the flagship AD102 GPU will have multiple models for the RTX 480, 480 Ti, and the 490 desktop graphics cards. It looks like these GPUs will also feature different power targets with the entry-level GPUs hitting around 450 watts of peak power consumption, followed by the Ti variants at around 600 watts. While the flagship 4090 could end up with a monstrous TDP of around 850 watts. Both leakers do state that these aren't based on the final specifications and the power figures could change in the retail variant, but there's a good reason to believe why these could end up being true. NVIDIA is already investing development around the new PCI Gen 5 connector that offers up to 600 watts power input per connector. The delayed RTX 3090 Ti is one example where the card is expected to rock at a TEGP of 450 watts and will be the first desktop graphics card to utilize such a connector interface. The next gen cards are also expected to utilize the same PCIe standard, but it looks like the top variant could end up with two Gen 5 connectors to supplement the almost over 800 watt power requirement. Several power supply makers have already started releasing their brand new Gen 5 power supplies, which would include the necessary connectors to support the next gen GPUs, but they only feature one primary Gen 5 connector, which means that if Nvidia was to use a second 16 pin port, users will have to use a 2x8 pin or a 1x8 pin adapter, which will ship with most of these power supplies. Of course, these are all rumors for now, but both leakers have very high credibility based on their previous rumors and leaks, so this might end up becoming true. Considering that Nvidia is aiming for a huge 2 times performance gain with their Ada Lovelace to compete against AMD's RDNA 3 offerings, the green team could be going all out, and that includes power and pricing besides just performance. Previously rumored specs have shown us a huge update to the core specs. The NVIDIA AD102 Ada Lovelace appears to have 18,432 CUDA cores based on the preliminary specs, which can change, but are provided by Coptite 7 Kimi. This is almost twice the cores present in Ampere, which is already a massive step up from Turing. A 2.2 GHz clock speed would give us 81 teraflops of compute performance for the FP32, and this is more than twice the performance of the existing RTX 3090, which packs 36 teraflops of FP32 compute performance. The, the NVIDIA Ada Lovelace GPU family is expected to bring a generational jump similar to Maxwell to Pascal. It is expected to launch in the second half of 2022, but expects supply and pricing to be similar to the current cards, despite Nvidia spending billions of dollars to acquire those good, good TSMC 5 nanometer wafers. But what do you think? Would you grab an RTX 40 series graphics card, even if it came with a power requirement of over 800 watts? Let us know in the comments down below, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon for more fantastic tech news.